Hello everyone, Dana here. Uh, I have one, yet another tutorial. Um, this one is going to be about the pointer scan type right here. So, pointer. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about it, uh, and in the old uh, 4.50 that I released, um, I did I did some major changes to it that actually made it a lot more useful. So, so uh, let's get started on this. So, um, I'm on deadlocked, of course, uh, uh, and I was trying to think of because I don't want to find something new. Um, I'd take time to think of something to find. And the only thing that really um, that really was useful for this uh, for having a pointer is give give weapons, um, and the nature of how this pointer works requires me to go online. So I'm sorry if anyone is offended by that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's just like the whole point of the pointer is that depending on which player index I am. So right now I'm on local play, which is offline. That means I'm the first player, so I'm player zero. Um, but if I, the only way to change that index is to go online. That way there's more players. Um, anyway, so that's that's why I'm teaching uh, with this code. So let's set our ranges to use... Um, so the eBoot range ends around here, and in the first region ends at this point. So uh, I already know how to find this code. And it's going to be for the magma cannon, which is just a gun. So currently, I don't have the magma cannon. Uh, it's going to be at the very top, in the middle. Um, and so I search for negative one. I won't get a, I won't get a, get a lot of results. So let's actually go over to the magma cannon. So once this finishes, now when I pick up the magma cannon, it gets set to zero. So now you can see that it's right there. And then we'll find that. And we'll have a lot of results. So we'll just narrow some down. And then we'll die. And hopefully we won't have it. Um, so that we can search for Fs again. OK, don't have it. There we go. And then we'll pick it up and see if it's. I don't think, yeah, okay. And so, zero. Alright, well, um, I know which one it is. It's this one. And we can double check. Oh, so you click on it and click control C, and it'll copy it as a code. And then this will give me a V2. Yep. And then if we set it to Fs, it'll take it away. So it's not in there anymore. Alright, so this is important. And then the other thing, I don't. Just this is just for demonstration. I have all the player ind indices right here, so that's for player one, and then this is for P two, and this is what this is what's important: the address. So if we go to, uh, although, um, well, I'll talk about that later. So if we go to here, and then we go to pointer scan, which we'll set to four bytes. We'll keep the same range because I know the codes in this range. Um, sometimes it might not be. Well, no, it should be. It should definitely be in the same range. Yeah. No, no, that's not true. That's not true at all. It could be in a different range, but I know it's not, so I'm not going to search in a different range. Um, so, one of the things about this is you won't actually, for this exact code, you won't, I think there's 10 results. Um, so, it's, uh, usually you get a lot of results, like most codes. And because of that, I'm gonna act like that. But like, if because I got only ten in this case, I could probably just test each one and then pick the one I like the most. Um, but usually, there's a lot more, so you need to narrow it down. Which means, um, yeah, which means you have to do a next scan. So uh, off the bat, I can, this is the pointer, by the way. Uh, I know it be off of memory. There's no like pattern or thing to tell the difference it's just I just know the pointer itself so I'm gonna go online right now and I'm gonna join my game my my other account and this is again this is just so that I'm player two 
uh, let's see. Now the pointer should move to here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna find it again. But if obviously, like in most cases, you'll have to find the pointer again. Yeah, there's two ways you can do that. You can either save the results and then search for the next thing, find the address, and then load these results back. Um, I'd personally, I'd rather just open a new instance of NetSheet and then find it find the new pointer and then just enter that instead of like saving and loading um, but you can do whatever so let's see if we grab this so this is where the new pointer should be if we next scan it will this is the pointer um, yeah it's <laughs> this is really really nice um, it used to be a lot worse a lot it used to be a lot more manual where you'd actually have to find it yourself but now I made it um, I made it a lot more I, uh, what's what's the word automated so uh, that's the offset so um, to make this actually into code and in, into a code uh, you'd go to codes and then you'd copy the result and then paste it and then copy paste would automatically put it into the format but just to explain the format in case you have to do this manually the six denotes the uh, pointer uh, the next part is the address where the pointer is held so if we go into the debugger and enter that this is the pointer this the ad, this is the address of the pointer this is the actual pointer and then the next part is the offset from the pointer so if we go to this pointer and we add uh, afc to it we'll actually end up at the point that we need to be and so that's the point of the offset it's not like you put in the one of the addresses you search for it's it's the difference between the, this this is calculated by the distance uh, the difference between the actual address it should be at and the pointer itself. So you if you want to do this manually, you open the calculator. You, you'd enter the address it should be, and then the pointer address, and you get AFC, and that's the offset. And then after that, you put in whatever code. So I want to write this to it. Now I could change it to this. It doesn't matter because it's a it's a byte write. But pretty much, it goes through this, and then the second part gets executed. This could be whatever you want. Um, this could be a text write. This could be a float write. This could be uh, this could be a um, a copy bytes write, uh, which is the F uh, code type. It could be whatever. What you need to understand is that this right here will get set to the address um, from this. So for instance, uh, this will get set to this plus AFC, which as I already said is right here. And then it writes. So if you were to do uh, FC and then whatever, and then the address that you wanted uh, to copy it to, um, this would get set to uh, this address. But it doesn't have to be a, a byte write. It can be any other type of code you want. You could have multiple layer uh, pointers. So you could have a pointer that points to a pointer that then points to a code. You could do that too. It works. It works fine like that. Um, I don't have an example of doing multi-level pointers because uh, Deadlock doesn't have any, or at least none of the codes I have for this game have any. Um, none of the, in fact, none of the codes I've ever hacked for any PS3 game have multi-level pointers. Uh, so. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't. This doesn't really incorporate that. You could. You could definitely do it like that, though. Um, yeah. That. <laughs> I think that wraps it up. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.